What's up guys? Welcome back to the farm. Today, you've been asking for it. We're finally going to start doing something with the 1957 auto car here. Uh, I'm going to get it drug out in front of the shop here and we are going to start pressure washing. Actually, I'm going to use my steam cleaner and we're going to steam clean off 63 years worth of crap. So let's get started. For the life of me, I don't know why I didn't record coming back here because I just went through a thousand foot long mud bog basically. Uh, got a little western coming back through there. Water's pretty heavy, that tote full there, 330 gallons, I think weighs somewhere around 2,700 pounds, if my math's right. So, uh, and I screwed up, I didn't center it on the truck before I filled it, and I sure can't move it now. So, it's kind of got the truck leaning to one side, but uh, yeah, we made her through springs actually bent negative right now so we'll start washing here and that weight will start coming off and it'll be all right getting back out of here hopefully okay we got our pressure washer station all set up over there let's uh hook a tractor to it and see if the tractor will drag this thing out of here it's pretty heavy uh if the tractor won't do it i got the dozer right there we'll get it out there one way or another
All right, there she is out in the daylight for the first time in quite a while. Man, do I love this truck. It never gets old. But uh, I'm really curious to see how clean it comes or if there's gonna be that much of a difference. There's a lot of flaky paint I'm sure will come off. But uh, it's not like covered in moss or anything. So yeah, we'll see. I, I know no matter what, it's gonna make it look a little bit better and we'll be able to see what we're working on a bit better so i'm going to uh get the pressure washer fired up or the steam jenny fired up and we'll uh get the steaming also the last time i was out here the uh video i got it running i was kind of running it between forward and reverse in that video trying to break the rear end free because the brakes were stuck and that side they both broke free that day in the video a lot of people thought it was just one side turning if you pay attention real close in the video, both wheels were turning. The whole thing was just sitting on mud, so it wasn't going anywhere. I mean, there's not a lot of weight in the rear end here for traction. But uh, today, that side uh, spun, you know, it rolled all the way out here as I pulled it. This side here does not want to turn. So uh, next time I get it fired up, we'll have to break that loose again. But I mean, at the end of the day, we're gonna end up going through all the brakes and cleaning up the drums and pads and all that stuff anyway. So. Not that big a deal.
Holy crap. I wish there was a good way to really show you guys the backstory and the struggle that goes into every one of these uh, little adventures out here. Nothing ever goes according to plan. It, I literally started at 7 o'clock this morning getting my ducks in a row to get out here and start doing this today. And it took me until 4 o'clock before I even fired up the pressure washer. Uh, it's just all part of the grind. So... Uh, and, and trying to record it if I was to try and show you guys I and mean, it just makes everything that much harder recording takes so much time that nobody understands unless you're doing it but uh, yeah we didn't go through nearly as much water as I figured we would so I guess that's good so there she is even though it was a struggle I'm still glad I did it it was uh it was satisfying for me let me know down in the comments what the most satisfying part of it was for you guys. For me, it definitely had to be peeling the paint off of this door and seeing what was underneath. I never, uh, I didn't know that was under there, obviously. I think I got down to the original paint here. It's like this olive drab green, I guess. Maybe it's primer, I can't tell. But uh, best I can tell, that's Wilson Contracting State Road Department. Or State Road. I don't know what that is. It's D-E-L something. This was another really good satisfying moment for me too, 
uh, getting all the paint off this old Fontaine plaque. That was pretty cool. I'm hoping, I mean, I'm going to have to really go through it, but I'm hoping this fifth wheel plate is still, uh, still usable. Also, I did spray off the engine, but, uh, like the wise, wise man that I am, I forgot to hit the record button when I started on it. It turned out pretty good, though. Uh, it wasn't really too dirty to begin with. But, yeah, at least now we can get the things a little bit easier and a little bit cleaner when we start tearing into them. So the disappointing part about doing this today, though, is that it, it's like the worst color in the world to show the contrast between dirty and clean. It still looks terrible, <laughs> but it does look better. It's a, it's a little bit lesser terrible. So, that time to put the old girl back to bed. Everybody keeps telling me I need to get gravel in the shop. I know, it's coming. I, they didn't build Rome in a day. I gotta get my driveway done so that I can even get the truck back in here to dump the gravel. Unless it's midsummer, I can't get a gravel truck back here. So, as soon as I can, I'm going to be getting stone for in here. We're gonna get about eight inches of, uh, eight inches of material. I'm gonna bring the stone up to the bottom of the Connex boxes there. Well guys, I don't know about you, but uh, this has merely aroused my appetite for the auto car without bedding it down. I uh, definitely want to get cracking on this auto car some more here soon. Like I mentioned about the rock, I need to get a uh, shop floor really in there before I can really start doing much on it. I mean, if it rains, I don't even really have a good way to access the shop without going mud bogging every time. and That's not good for my truck or anything like that and it just makes more mud and you keep making deeper ruts and deeper mud holes so I really try to avoid running on it when it's muddy but anyway so if and you haven't already you're gonna wanna smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos of the old auto car here we're just barely scratching the surface on what's gonna be a big long project so uh, the goal is to one day have this thing fixed up and dragging equipment down the road with it so it's gonna be a long process and you guys will be there every step of the way. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Later.